told that there's a time and a place for everything. Well, this looks like the place, and I think it's time for a very special treat. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1986 Queens of Harmony ambiance. to the Buy Ambiance New Clothes Fund. <laughs> we want you to know that we got a heck of a deal at Ann Gooch's garage sale. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting done. <up. laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, well, we had to add a lot of fabric to most of them. <laughs> Hers. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. You know, I just found this stack of letters. They're wrapped in a pretty pink ribbon, and they were stuck way back in the back of the closet. You know, I'd, I'd almost forgotten.
It's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm sitting here going through our lives together and our, our memories. And as my fingers run across the pages, and I caress the thoughts and the words, I realize that they're all I've got. You could cut it with a knife. note. I <laughs> told you the story of my life, but we have to, I want to share with those of you, those of you who don't know us or haven't been introduced to us, this is Ambiance, and uh, we'll start down here. This is Sandy Wright, and Sandy's from the St. Louis area, and uh, for those of you who are catching up, uh, Sandy has changed jobs again, <laughs> and they've moved again. <laughs> the government keeps finding them. No, 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 that's a joke. <laughs> I <laughs> want to start any rumors. But anyway, she's working for the United Way in St. Louis, and she handles all of their, uh, all of their. Uh, to help me out here. Oh, yeah. Huh? She does movies. But no kidding. Movies she. <laughs> I'll be darn. Uh, <laughs> she handles all their communications. <laughs> Which is interesting if you've ever tried to talk to Sandy. <laughs> anyway, and uh, this is Diane Huber, and Diane's from the St. Louis area also. And she's a proud mama of three phenomenal boys. And actually, her life has kind of chilled out this year. She's not working. God love her. <laughs> Rest of us are. <laughs> So anyway, she's just staying home and, and doing the computer thing and taking care of the quartet's books, which are real stitch. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a short story. <laughs> and um, this is Shelly Sweet, and Shelly sings tenor with the quartet, and she lived in Chicago. Yep. And uh, she's had a real interesting year this year. She's fooled around and graduated from college in May. Uh, nice, yeah. wow. It only took 12 years. She's a quick study. <laughs> Guess what her major was? <laughs> Communications. <laughs> Must be an easy field, you know? I think I'm going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad, aren't I? I'm going to pay for this later, but anyway. And, and she's also engaged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Certainly <laughs> not us. Not us. We'd never think it. Uh, the reason that happens, he's a civilian. He doesn't know about the rest of us. 
And it's gonna be a, a very small, intimate wedding, 6,000 of her closest friends. <laughs> And we're calling it, and there's a little party afterwards, a little barbecue thing, and so we're calling it Shelly's Wedding and Pig Roast. <laughs> and uh, this wonderful fella, he is marvelous. His name is Vern. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> Where else but in America? <laughs> but the, the name, and the little Polish fella, and his name is Vern Rubinek, and... Uh, she, Rubinek, that's right, you heard it here first. You heard it right. Yeah, right. And, uh, <laughs> and so she's going to uh, keep, she's a woman of the 90s, and she that's wants right. to keep her own name, this, so it's going to be right. Shelly Sweet Rubinek. <laughs> Sounds like a religious experience, doesn't it? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, but anyway. Uh, anyway. You destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's done for. And uh, my name's Liz, my name's Liz Hardcastle, and I sing the lead, and about the most exciting thing that's happened to me this year is I took a water aerobics class. <laughs> and I had to buy a new bathing suit, because my old one had a hole in the knee, but um bum Oh, we're gonna try and sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're rich. Are you doing this to have Yes, please. I guess. Oh well. <laughs> we'd like to uh, do a brand new. Bless you, nasty cough. <laughs> we would. Uh, we'd like to do a new tune for you tonight. That we're gonna put on the new album and. Uh, Hopefully, in uh, January, we're going to do that recording studio mm -hmm. thing where the four of us come out hating each other and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Being locked up with all four of us and, and a coach that wants everything in key is a real pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's too dry to be laughing. I have no, yeah. nothing in my throat. <laughs> So, uh, for those of you who are familiar with it, there's a, a beautiful, mm. phenomenal Broadway show now, and it's called Phantom of the Opera. And uh, we would like to do uh, a couple of numbers out of Phantom of the Opera and tell you a little about those of you who are not familiar with it. It's based on a very old story, and I'm sure you've seen the old movie of the Phantom of the Opera. And it's uh, a man who's been banished from this top of the planet, and he has to live below ground, and he lives under the old opera house, and he's banished forever. And uh, he falls in love with a beautiful ingenue, a very young girl who has a phenomenal voice. And through the dark side and his dark powers, he almost woos her over and takes her life over in his hands. And uh, it's an ominous struggle mm -hmm. of wills and the bad against the good. When her father had passed away, he said to her, he said, there will be an angel of music come to you, darling, and he'll be good, and it'll be wonderful, and you'll be able to sing with all the love and joy that, that God's given you. She mistaken this angel. And so we would like to give you our rendition of Phantom of the Opera. <laughs>
stand before me, phantom. I see your dark and figure looming large before my eyes. I see the mask you wear, I see the mask you wear in phantom. You're inside my mind, you're there inside my mind. In sleep, he sang to me. In dreams, he came. That voice which calls to me and speaks my name. Mind, 